everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel and today I have such an exciting video for you guys. As you guys know, I love filming clothing hauls. I love clothes, I love shopping. But today this one has a little bit more of a structure, a little bit more of a purpose. I know for a fact that most of my audience is like high school age or they've just come out of high school, they're in like that university sort of age. And I also know for a fact that when you are that age, you don't have a lot of money to be spending on unnecessary things as a lot of people in my life like to tell me. But clothes are necessary. Maybe not an abundance of clothes, but... I'm just gonna pretend that it is. And I know the struggle of wanting to keep up with the trends, wanting to look cute, but not having like a lot of money to be spending on that sort of thing. I'm in university and I live out of home, so I don't have like heaps of money to be spending on this sort of stuff because I have to pay like my rent and electricity and phone bill and car insurance and stuff like that. But somehow I managed to <laughs> keep my wardrobe updated, um, maybe more than necessary. So today I'm going to give you my tips, my tricks, my secrets for shopping on a budget but still looking great. So let's get started. My first tip is online shopping and not just necessarily any online shopping. Of course there are so many different places that you can online shop like there's like so many but if you really do your research you can find some really cute stuff for really inexpensive prices and one of the places that I have been shocked by recently is Romway. I picked up two items from Romway and to be honest I have bought things from other similar websites before and they haven't been amazing quality they haven't been great so I was literally shocked when these items arrived and they were actually amazing quality so I'm way too excited to show you guys. The first thing that I have from Romway is this beautiful, like, I don't know, is it kind of like mesh, I guess? Embroidered little, I don't even know what you call it. It's kind of a top but I wouldn't wear it by itself obviously because it is very sheer. Personally, I would wear it over like a singlet top or like over my bikini or something at the beach. So I would just like wear my bikini and then like if we wanted to go get lunch, I'd chuck on a pair of like denim shorts and then this as the top. And you can just tie it up in the front however you want to tie it up. And I just think this is so beautiful and so unique. And guys, this was $11.99 US. So I'm not exactly sure what that would be Australian. It's going to be a little bit more than $12, but I have seen very similar shirts in boutiques for upwards of $40 or $50. So this is incredible. I'll leave the link to this down below because obviously it's an online store so I can do that. Some of these things I won't be able to leave links to, but some things I can. And the second thing that I got from Romway is literally my favorite item that I own at the moment. And it is this big, it's kind of hard to show you, but obviously you'll see in the try on portion, this gray cropped hoodie. And I was so shocked by the quality of this. The inside is actually fluffy. Like it actually feels so, so soft and it is really, really warm. It's just got the drawstrings and it hasn't got a pocket on the front, but it is cropped and it is so cute. I've worn it so many times already. And this one was $16.99. I will be giving you the price of all the items that I have in this video, obviously because this is like an affordable clothing haul. So I want to tell you how affordable they are. But yeah, this was $16.99, but that's in US dollars. So I'm not sure what it is Australian, but yeah, like super, super inexpensive. So my first tip is just those wholesale websites because they have stuff that you would see in boutiques that you would see in more expensive clothing stores for a way more affordable price. Next, I'm going to move on to my second tip, which is thrift stores or op shopping if you're from Australia. And I know everyone has probably thought about this before and everyone knows this, but it is just such a great tip. I love it so much. So if you guys don't know by now, but I literally wear men's t-shirts at least like three to four times a week. I just get them oversized so they're super, super comfy. You can just wear a pair of shorts or a pair of jeans with them and that's your whole outfit like done. Chuck on a pair of thongs, a pair of sneakers, a pair of any sort of shoes you want and it looks good. So I picked up this one from a thrift store that I went to and this is so cute when you just tie it up at the front and then wear it with a pair of jeans or shorts and it's so incredibly comfortable. And I think this was $6.00 from the thrift store that I went to, which is like, I don't know, I thought it would be cheaper getting men's t-shirts from thrift stores because I find them almost cheaper than that in store, which you'll see later. But also getting shirts like this from a thrift store are amazing because they're already worn in, so they're not stiff, they're really, really soft and they're really, really like comfortable to wear. So that's one of my favorite pieces that I picked up. And then I picked up two big comfy jumpers. It's such a great idea to get your jumpers from a thrift store or from an op shop because they are way less expensive than buying them in store. The first one that I have is this big, huge, 
huge creamy kind of sweater. It is absolutely huge. It is a size large, so it's something that I probably would more wear like with leggings around the house or honestly I'd probably wear it out of the house with leggings because I don't like wearing real clothes. But it's just super super comfy and I think this one was something like seven dollars. I think it was, or was it nine? It was either seven or nine dollars. But it's just like so thick and so comfortable and I think I might be able to wear it off the shoulder. I don't know. And this one, which is definitely my favorite one, is this beautiful peachy sort of colored sweater. This is so soft and it's like warm, but it's not too warm. And it's got like a high neck and I just, uh, I'm in love with this. I am in love. This, I can't remember the exact price of. It was either seven or nine dollars as well because one of these was seven and one of them was nine, but I can't remember which one. But it is just so beautiful. I've worn it so many different times. It's got kind of like a sheen to it, which is so lovely, but I love this sweater so much. It's so beautiful. Another place to get really cute but affordable items is outlet shopping centers. If you guys are from Australia, you've probably heard of DFO and it just has a whole bunch of stores and they're just like outlet prices and so I have two things to show you from there because I shop at outlet stores all the time. The first place that I have something from is Fila. I don't know if you guys have noticed but at least in the area that I live Fila has just like come back into fashion. It is so trendy at the moment but I've seen plain Fila shirts like this on sale for something like $40, $50, $60 which I think is insane for a t-shirt. This one I picked up from the Fila outlet for $15. Are you kidding me? $15 for a Fila t-shirt that is obviously authentic is from the Fila store is absolutely insane and so amazing. Like I said, I love to wear men's t-shirts. So this is just like a super comfy thing that I can wear with like a pair of jeans or whatever I'm feeling like wearing. And it just like goes with everything and it looks super cute in summer as well. What I like to do is just roll up the sleeves a couple times so they're cuffed and it just looks really good. And the second shirt that I picked up from an outlet store is this one here. This one is actually from JJ's. It's from the men's section and I love shirts that have like a little kind of um, design on like kind of like the pocket area and then have a huge design on the back. This was $5. If you guys go to outlet stores and check out Cotton On, JJ's, I don't know if there are any other stores, but a lot of those sort of stores have $5 racks or $10 racks, which have all of their men's shirts on there, and you can find some really cute ones, and obviously they're very, very inexpensive. So I have been loving that, and I honestly get so many compliments when wearing men's t-shirts. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Moving on to my next tip, and that is student discounts. If you guys don't know, there are so many different stores that you can get student discounts at. I have a friend of mine who literally just walks into a store and asks if they have a student discount and they either will say like yes or no, but it's worth asking because so many of them do. There is an app, this is not sponsored, they have no idea that I'm saying this so don't think this is like a sponsorship, but there is an app called Uni Days, which I'm sure like a lot of you will know about. You can just get it on your phone and that way you can either go online shopping or you can just go in store and you go up to the counter and as you're paying for your items you just show them your uni days account and you can get a certain percentage off so like I said this isn't sponsored so don't freak out guys but you can get like 10% off alley 20% off cotton on 25% off cotton on body so many different stores 15% off city beach 25% off Boohoo, 10% off Dish. So many stores that you can get discounts off just for being a student. So I picked up a couple of things from City Beach that I want to show you. The first is just this little cropped t-shirt. And you might be like, Rachel, why did you get like a little cropped t-shirt from City Beach? Like what was the point of that? But this is such nice material. But I really liked this one because I've been looking for a cropped shirt like this for a long time that is tight fitting but doesn't have a low like neck, if that makes sense. A lot of them have a really like low scoop neck where you like if you bend over, you're just going to flash everyone, which I particularly don't like. But if you want that, go for it. But it just looks really, really nice having like a tight fitting or a nice fitting cropped t-shirt that just like goes with everything and you can use uni days to get some money off that one and then I also got this is like my favorite thing ever this play suit from City Beach as well so you can get your 15% off but it's just this navy play suit but what I really love about this is that you can tie it up in the back however tight you need it so for me I am a very um flat chested girl which is fine but it does mean that it's kind of hard to try and find things that fit me properly so being able to tie this as tight as I want to makes me very happy because I know that it's going to fit me. I also like that it's that straight across kind of look because I think that's so classy and guys it has pockets so yes 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 yes. 
My next tip is to search the sales sections. I know that probably most of you do this already because who doesn't love a good sales section? But sometimes I feel like you can find things you'd never expect to look good that do look good. This is from Valley Girl and it's just this like cream beige sort of color with all of these bright colorful embroidered, is it embroidered? I don't know, plant sort of designs. I feel like it kind of looks like a carpet or like a design from your grandma's couch. Like I would never have picked this out but I saw this girl wearing this thing at uni and it looked absolutely adorable and I was like I need something like that and I found this for $15 in the sales section at Valley Girl. Another piece that I got from the sales section are these cute little shorts from Maya actually. So these are these cute little fabric shorts from the shop and these were on a huge sale these were originally I don't even know how much they were originally because the sale sticker is covering it these were originally $50 what the heck and then they were marked down to $20 and then I think it was something like 20% or 30% off all sales so I got them for around $15 or less it was less than $15 but I can't remember and for me I'm a very small person and I find it very very hard to find things that fit me properly. So I really love things like the play suit that um, I can tie up myself. And I really like these shorts because I can tie them up myself. So they're elastic, which means they're gonna fit probably pretty well. And then they have the little like tie up thing, which means they're definitely gonna fit me because I can tie them as tight as I want them to be. So sale sections are literally my best friend. And my last tip that I have is swallow your pride and shop at Target and Kmart and BW. I don't know about other schools, I don't know about other people, but at least when I was in high school, I really felt like there was this big stigma around shopping at places like Target and Big W and Kmart. I don't even know why there was. It makes no sense to me. Maybe it was just because they were seen as cheap or something, but I literally love those places and I was always like scared to wear clothes from there because I thought people would judge me. But they have such cute stuff at such inexpensive prices and I've gotten to the point now in uni where I literally don't care where I buy stuff from. I don't care what brand it is. If I like something, I like something and that's the end of it. So here I am, a new woman who doesn't care about what people think about what I'm wearing because if I think it's cute, I don't care what other people think. So I'm going to show you the cute stuff I found at Big W and Kmart. I don't think I have anything from Target, but I like Target as well. The first thing that I have is this cute little baby doll style shirt from Big W. This was on sale for $10 or maybe $15. I can't exactly remember, but it was like super, super cheap. It's in a size extra small and it is just, like I said, this baby doll navy top. It's got this lace at the front on the top part of it which is absolutely beautiful but this is so cute and the material of it is so incredibly soft and comfortable it's stretchy it's beautiful and i love this top and the other thing that i got from big w is a pair of shoes so when i saw these i was like oh my gosh those are so cute i need them in my life these ones are just like completely plain white i don't they kind of look like skate shoes a bit because they're like I don't know. You can see what they look like. But I love these. I think they're so cute. They're a bit dirty because I've obviously worn them. I am a size 7 and these were $15. Are you serious? $15. I think they're super comfy and they go with so many outfits. I also think they're going to look so cute with dresses. Like, they already look cute with, like, jeans and shorts and stuff. But I think if you style it right, they could look super cute with dresses as well so i'm really excited about wearing those with dresses and the last thing i have is also from kmart and it's another pair of shoes and let me just say that kmart is one of my favorite places to buy shoes it honestly is i love kmart shoes i almost always buy my sandals from kmart and I have so many pairs that I've bought and I've worn them for years and years and years and they haven't broken. So I think Kmart shoes are awesome and this is my newest addition to my collection. I also love shoes by the way. Like I actually have a problem with buying shoes. I need to stop. But these are my newest addition. So the, I don't know whether to call them heels or not because I guess they're heels but they're like the smallest heels I've ever seen. But they are just a size 7 and they're this like nude colour and then they've got the wooden detail on the heel which I think is really beautiful. And these these were $20. I love these because they could be casual or they could be fancy. Since they are such a small heel, you can get away with wearing them like on an everyday basis, like to uni or something like that because they're so comfortable. But at the same time, you can wear them to fancier events where you'll have to do a lot of walking or you'll have to be standing on your feet the whole time and you want to be comfortable. 
because they have got the heel. They also come in black, which are really pretty as well. But I think we are finally through everything in this haul. So I hope you guys did enjoy it. I know that a lot of the tips were pretty obvious stuff and you guys probably know like all of them already, but thank you for sitting and listening to me anyway. And I hope you guys enjoyed a haul with a bit more of a, like a structure or a purpose, I guess, a bit more of a message. But I'm gonna stop talking because this video is probably already way too long. So subscribe if you haven't already, if you wanna see more videos from me and give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and I will see you guys in my next video very soon. Goodbye.